Okay, everyone. Um, here, the JavaScript validation is type of validation that occurs and happens when you fill out forms while browsing the internet. And for example, as you can see here, those boxes are handled by JavaScript or scripts that are written by JavaScript language. And when you click on the submit button here, you will send a request that would be handled by JavaScript function. For example, here in this lesson, we need to bypass JavaScript validation. Now, what's JavaScript validation? Basically, JavaScript validation is sort of or kind of validation that typically happens on the server side and on the client side. Okay, so here when I am filling out those boxes, every request I send to the server gets validated by a function on function on the JavaScript called on click validation. Okay, so basically if we right click on one of those fields, inspect with Firebug, okay, if I go down, As you see here, on click validate. On click validate performs validation on our request. Okay, if our request meet, meets the criteria being set by the uh, server. So here, the server in WebGoat uses client side validation and doesn't use server side validation. So basically, we can manipulate our res uh, request. Okay to like manipulate the server response and get the server returns or yields some response based on our objectives or purposes. For example, here, we will manipulate all, all of those requests and let the server thinks that we are um, sending them legitimate requests or at least it will not expect uh, from us to send those request. So here the criteria are, for example, in the first box, we should enter only three lowercase characters. Okay. So in every box here, we should follow some criteria or conditions set by or or, or set by the uh, server. Okay. So th this kind of validation exists in many websites on the internet. But when you, uh, for example, when, when not validating those requests or not performing the validation process on the server side, anyone okay, with, some, um, with some common sense can manipulate the request and bypass the validation that's implemented on the client side. So implementing JavaScript validation on the client side is not enough. Okay, We need to implement that on the server side. So here we'll, we will bypass those conditions written above every box here. And we will send randomly written characters to bypass every condition written here. So in real world scenarios, okay, uh, for example, you find, we may find uh, those boxes in websites while filling out some register form, sign up form, um, and whatever the kind of form. Uh, typically, uh, you will uh, or you would, uh, for example, manipulate your um, values that are being entered on, on those boxes, okay, and send your desired values to exploit or uh, disclose some information out of the website. So, here, guys, I will use Purpose Suite, okay, to intercept every request that I'm gonna send to the um, web code and let's get started so here I'm going to refresh the page so I'm going to make sure the intercept is on ok it's on so if I refresh the page here ok what I need to do in this case ok I need to intercept the response so basically here I get the request which I, I am sending to the web server or to the uh, web code. Okay, so I'm gonna click, right click on it and click on 
choose response to this request. Do intercept response to this request. I'm going to click forward. Okay. So here I got the response from the server whenever I make the uh, previous request. So here this is the response, the first response from the server. Okay. I'm going to click on forward because this is not uh, the type of response we're going to do. We will, we will be dealing with forward. Good. Okay. So intercept this forward. Okay. Nothing. Intercept. Okay. Again. I need to look for the onclick validation function on JavaScript and I need to remove this function so I can bypass the JavaScript validation implemented on this on the client side. So I'm, I'm not interested in this, neither this, neither. Okay. Okay, here, see, here I got the regular expressions that validate every request or every value that I would be entering on those boxes or I'd be filling out on those boxes. You see here regular expressions to validate every request being sent by the client. Okay. And this is the fun the validate function here. So in every uh, value I may be entering in the uh, box, it gets evaluated, assessed and filtered based on the regular expressions here and if I enter some unaccepted character or unaccepted value it would pop up with bad field pop up okay so if I remove this okay and here the every box here on its own script I'm gonna look for on 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 click okay on click validate. I need to remove this as well. Uh, okay, and I think we're good to go. So here, what we have done is we removed every sort of client side validation implemented by JavaScript. Okay, so here, what's what's gonna happen is. We, we, may, we will be entering or we have or we can enter some values that for example that don't meet the criteria set by those regular expressions so can I enter whatever value I can uh, I would okay so forward this and forward forward okay now I'm going to enter my expressions here. This is like a randomly uh, written characters. I'm going to put in here in every field. Okay, then on submit. No problem. As you can see, path field one, path field two. So. Click on intercept response, forward, see here, okay. Now, let's, we, we've removed the uh, function before. I know that we are repeating the step over again, but I, I have made this to, uh, for clarification purposes, so that you know what I'm gonna do upon filling out the form. So after filling out the form with the values that I wanted, now I am intercepting the response and removing every every function every validation function that would be filtering out my response or my values and here removing this again clicking forward 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 okay so here we bypassed the client side validation and we can see here that the server tells us that the server side validation violation okay so here that tells you that the server lacks a proper validation for uh, typed values by the client okay so the problem here 
in this vulnerability that as I told you the validation is not performed on the server side it's just on the client side and when anything anything performed on the client side and not performed on the server side simultaneously then any malicious or adversary can manipulate the request or response being sent to the server. So the client side validation is nonsense without server side validation. Hope you find this helpful.